starting off with a severe thunderstorm watch. It's in effect until midnight. Does include Boone, McHenry, and DeKalb County. The cold front is uh, moving through the Rockford area right now. Points towards the south, so you can see that's why there's no watch box here. But out ahead of this front, that's where the air is unstable, and that's where there could be more severe weather as we go through the evening. Skywatch next, Red's where we start you off here, showing uh, powerful thunderstorms out here in the eastern Iowa just kind of collapsed on themselves about 4.30 this afternoon as uh, numerous reports of severe weather popped up in and over Chicago, down towards Lansing and the southwest suburbs. Uh, down along the I-80 corridor, I think it's going to be active and still ahead of this front as it pushes off towards the east, there could be a couple of showers. Live Doppler right now clean slate. In fact, there's nothing on here in our local view, so that's good news. However, as we go back to the next red, don't want to alarm you, but there's going to be a lot of color on this map. This is the rainfall estimate from our Doppler radar, which does show the colors here, the brighter colors, indicating two to three, perhaps four inches of rainfall, and that surely was the case around Stevenson County over here towards Carroll County and northwestern Winnebago County as very, very heavy rain set up shop early this morning. So we do not need any more rainfall after what we saw. And, uh, of course, we don't need any severe weather as well. Moving along now to the temperatures for today, 83 degrees after a morning low of 67. Officially in Rockford, only a third of an inch of rainfall, but it was much heavier off to the north and to the west. Temperatures now into the lower 80s, still a lot of mugginess when we factor in the humidity. It feels like temperatures 84. It feels like 83 in DeKalb and 85 down in Dixon. Mostly cloudy skies now. The humidity 71%. That dew point is still 70, but two W's mean we've got more of a westerly component to our wind. That tells us that the front is pushing to the east. That's where the thunderstorms will be as we go through the evening, 64. And then a couple of showers possible, I-88 points southward for tomorrow. It's Lightning Safety Week, a couple of factoids for you. Did you know that thunder can be heard for up to 12 miles away from a storm? And if you hear thunder, you can be struck by lightning. During the daytime, lightning is very hard to see. But at nighttime, lightning can be seen up to 100 miles from a storm. And I remember last week leaving the station after the 10 o'clock news, seeing lightning off in the distance and knowing that the storms were way up here towards Green Bay. Watching storms off to our east, a tornadic threat over here towards Indiana and Michigan. Thankfully, it's off to the east. That's where the dynamics are this evening as our cold front is pressing through right now. So we're 80 degrees. We'll be equally warm tomorrow because we'll have a little bit drier air, and drier air heats up more efficiently than the moisture. So a 70 dew points today will be in the 50s for dew points tomorrow, so a little bit more comfortable weather on the horizon. Here's the front that could spark off a shower, a thunderstorm south of I-88 for tomorrow, and then it drifts even further to the south for your Saturday. Good news for our weekend is temperatures will be comfortable, except there's one weekend day that does have a threat of a shower or thunderstorm. So any storms, I think, are going to be off towards the Chicago metro area for tonight. If you do have travel plans, maybe you've got a flight out of O'Hare or Midway, call ahead because there's some delays after the thunderstorms they've already seen. 64 thunderstorms east of I-39 during the evening, but then just plain muggy overnight. Not much wind to kick things up. 82 shower, maybe a thunderstorm south of Rochelle. More sunshine into southern Wisconsin for tomorrow. And taking a look at our seven-day outlook, you'll notice temperatures topping out into the upper 70s. Ah, that's more like it for a weekend. That's going to be perfect for the festival going on in Davis Junction. Also, Heritage Fest going on in Belvedere, where I'll be out emceeing the parade on Sunday. There's a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm there, but don't be too concerned about it. Temperatures as a whole remaining right where they should be for this time of year. And there's also a fest in Pecatonica called the Picatolica Fest. The Picatolica Fest? There's stuff going on all over the know, place this weekend. I know. You learn things when you move to a new town. So I like it. It's pretty cool. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Plans for a continent.